and get your kiss on. All right, all right, what's up, my quesadillas? We're back with a brand new, top of the line, state of the art, world class video. Woo! I'm bringing it back with a story video. Let me know in the comments if you're one of those OG quesadillas that were there during my storytelling phase on YouTube. Good times, good times. But uh, yeah, today I'm gonna tell you guys a story, a couple stories actually, about uh, stuff. Real quick though, before I start, my videos recently have not been getting views. What the heck? You guys all left me. Yeah, I don't know. You guys, you guys just left me in the dark. What the, what the heck? What the heck, guys? Nah, but if you haven't yet, go watch my past three, four videos or something. Get them up to 10,000 views. I don't like having videos that are under 10,000 views. It just doesn't look sexy. Anyway, here we go. So, I went to Japanese middle school when I was around 13 to 14 years old. It was a fun time of my life. I have a lot of stories to tell from that time because Japan is an interesting place. These stories are a little bit more, um promiscuous. That vocab, though. So, it's a very well-known stereotype that Asians have smaller eggplants and in japan a stereotype in my school was that americans have larger eggplants so yeah a lot of times the japanese boys would talk to me about these kind of things because it's funny to them i guess i was in handball club for a month and my teammates would ask me do you know boobs they would tell me to go up to the girls handball team while they're changing and ask for their bra japanese middle schoolers are very mature people very mature human beings feminists would love them but a common question i got was you have pennies i always thought they were saying pennies so i'd always be like oh uh, yeah in america we use we use pennies but eventually i finally understood what they meant by pennies they mean you know what i mean but yeah japanese boys always had a fascination with american pennies especially my half american pennies like one time I was walking up the stairs in between class and one of the popular boys with this group, he was walking behind me and he just straight hooked his hand around me and got a nice handful of dimes and pennies. Ooh, okay, American pennies. Everyone was laughing, so I didn't really take it too seriously. You guys are probably like, what the f***? But I don't know. I'm not saying sexual harassment is okay in Japan, but sexual harassment is okay in Japan. I'm just kidding. Sexual harassment is a problem. It's a problem anywhere. But yeah, it's middle school. Everyone's just laughing. It's not a big deal. Like around the world, there's pantsing. Guys will pull down each other's pants. In Japan, there's also skirting. Like girls just flick skirts up. Just like that. You just gotta live there to understand it. Another penny situation that happened was during our school trip. In Japanese middle school, the graduating grade always goes on a school trip somewhere far away. Our grade went to Kyoto for three days and we stayed at a hotel. We all went to the hot springs to bathe and shower. As I was getting naked, I sensed all the boys kind of looking at me, talking about my American pennies. It was the first time we were all naked with each other, so a lot of the guys were gonna use this opportunity to see what I'm packing. It's not that they're gay. They just make a big deal out of these things for some reason. I don't know. Like, I know this sounds very homosexual but i don't know japan is just on some next level vibes you know what i'm saying they're just on a very particular wavelength my bro dude but i sensed all these japanese boys kind of like looking at me so i just took a shower real quick and skipped the bath as i was walking back to the changing room all the boys in the bath were like yo okay come over here honestly if it was now i wouldn't care i just let my shit dangle and pull up like at the time though i just wanted to get the <laughs> out all they got to see is my smooth half jap butt sack. I almost got back to the changing room until my PE teacher that was supervising stopped me and just started talking to me. Having a conversation with your PE teacher butt naked with all the boys in your grade around you butt naked is quite an experience. But my teacher asked me how the trip is going and while I'm talking to him I just see his eyes slowly shifting down until he got a first seat view of my American pennies. He stared for a solid three seconds while I'm talking, not even trying to hide it. He straight up observed that sh really just soaked it all in. I don't really know how I felt about it. I guess it's a little weird since he's my PE teacher, but I didn't really care. Maybe it's because I'm a swimmer. I'm used to people seeing my eggplant. I don't know if it's an exclusively swimmer thing. Maybe just a locker room thing if you're an athlete, but you kind of see each other's eggplants. Maybe I'm weird, but I know at least y'all swimmers know where I'm coming from. Like maybe for football, you slap your teammate's ass, no homo. In fact, slapping another dude's ass with confidence, fully out of respect and friendship is probably one of the most hetero alpha male things you can do, to be honest. It's like a best friend thing, usually when you're younger. You might have seen each other's eggplants, not even on some gay shit, just that ultimate bro shit. Nothing makes you tight with your best friend like seeing each other's appendages. That's a straight fact. Nah, that was a pretty freaking gay fact right there. Why are you naked? I'm Buddhist. Don't you mean nudist? No? 
I'm Buddhist. Buddhism has nothing to do with your balls hanging out. I was just wondering if maybe you want to see them. See, that's gay. Well, why are you wearing no pants? You know I don't wear pants making videos. I guess I do, huh? Yeah, you sure do. Are we bonding right now? I think we are. I respect you so hard, bro. Me too, bro. Okay, that was a long side rant, but anyway. One last penny situation. I went to kendo club for a couple days. Pretty much every student chooses one club, but I didn't really give a f <laughs> So for a certain period of time, I would just go to whatever club I felt like going to. Since I'm a gaijin, I'm American, the teachers didn't really care. They just let me do whatever I wanted to do. But my first day in kendo, I was late, and I was trying to put my kendo equipment on. And it's not like Velcro. You have to tie things around and do it the right way. And yeah, I didn't know how to put it on. I'm struggling with it, and one of the managers were standing by the door and she asked if I needed help. I said sure and she kneels down tying all the equipment around me and part of the kendo equipment is like flaps that cover your hips and pennies. I don't know what this was. This does not explain what I was trying to say but anyway so she's helping me put it on and by the way she's one of the cutest hottest girls in the school this girl was a whole peng ting all right I was 13 puberty is in full effect and this Japanese baddie is helping me put on my equipment kneeling down so close to my american pennies i could practically feel her warm breath on my love stick my testiculars were tingling she made me feel very comfortable so um uh yeah um let's just say diglets coming out so the flap covering my american pennies just starts rising and then she just pulled down my pants and went at it i'm just kidding nah that would have been super lit but she just smiled at me and walked away. Very anticlimactic, but yeah, that's the story or stories of my American pennies in Japanese school. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to go cop some merch at k.f, link in the description. I also made a Patreon recently, so if you want to support me extra, also link in the description. I'm not like a musician, I'm not like a rapper or anything. All the music stuff, me and my friend Sora, we just do it for fun. But we've made a lot of songs and we're gonna make more. So we're gonna post unreleased projects and just post unreleased videos and stuff on Patreon. So yeah, if you want some more insight, want a little more juice, you know what I'm saying? Become a patron. I'm gonna think of some more benefits for the patrons too. So I'm just a 19 year old kid trying to make it on YouTube. YouTube and all this stuff, you know, it does help. So if you can, I'll greatly appreciate it. Don't do the sponsor thing on YouTube or like the join button. The little emoji next to your name is kind of cute, but YouTube takes like half of that money. But like Patreon, I get all of it. And I know a couple people have done that. So if you are one of those people, just switch over to Patreon. It's a lot more beneficial for me. But yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say. Go watch all my other videos too. I think a lot of people got confused when I uploaded that music video. They think like, oh, I'm trying to be a rapper now or I'm trying to like just do music now. But like, nah, it's, it's the same shit. The music stuff's just for fun. I'm still vlogging. I'm still making these videos still trying to entertain you guys But yeah, I think the music video might have confused my fan base a little bit. I don't know But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video Make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload and I like Pennies Pennies like actual pennies not 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 pennies not you know Shall we? Yeah.